Hello everyone and welcome to The Negative. It's almost back to school time and before you know it, we'll be also heading into the holidays. So I figured you guys would probably be shooting some home movies. And the Kodak Brownie 8mm is probably one of the cheapest 8mm home movie cameras that you can get. So I'm going to show you guys how to load this camera. Okay, so here's the front and there's only really one component on here. So you're going to open this, unlock it, take off this. And you're going to want to make sure that your camera has an empty take-up spool. So you'll need that. And these are films from the Film Photography Project. They have quite a big selection of 8mm film. The black and white 400. This is the Eastman double X X2 film and their color 40. I'm not sure what emulsion this is, but it's got a nice classic look to it. So I'm going to demonstrate how to load on the black and white 400. So it's going to come in either a little bag or a canister like this. So open that up. And you're gonna want to take your film and you'll notice there is a shiny side and a matte side. And this whitish part is the emulsion, the light sensitive part. So this, you're gonna want to face the lens so that it can record an image. So you're gonna see that there is an, it says right in there, full film spool. So this is gonna go right here and it has a diagram of how the film is going to face. So take it like this. You're actually going to probably want to unwind some that we have room to thread it through. So put this onto the spindle. And there's really only one thing to do right here. So you can see you can pull, you're able to pull this back and you're gonna slide the film under that. So you can hold that back and then you can just slide the film down in there. And make sure the film is flush with the back, kind of like the bottom portion here. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do wind the spring. That way you can reel some film on and then once it's caught, you'll notice it'll start pulling the film through. So, so you can see the film is moving. So it's threaded on there and you're just going to want to make sure you wind some onto the take up spool, kind of push it through, make sure it catches and then wind some on that way it starts feeding onto the take up spool. But you will notice that it won't let you put this film reel on backwards. So you're gonna want this side facing up. Make sure you have the side up with the arrow because it's gonna be going into this direction and you can see the arrow pointing that way. So that's how you know it's correct. And you're gonna to wanna to set the film counter to the L. So that's gonna space the film out so that when you wind the film on, it's gonna pass up all this film that's already been exposed while you're loading it. And as you wind on, it's gonna get to the 25. So 25 feet of film on each side for a total of 50 feet of film. Once you have your film on there and you realize that it is passing through, everything looks correct. Then you can go ahead and close it up. Put the lid back on, lock the camera, and then you're gonna wind on until you get to that 25, and that's where the roll of film starts.